Hey guys, we've been doing a lot of videos on various camos and stuff, and most of us have been focused on uh, newer, more modern iterations and things that have come out. But we've been talking about it and thought, you know, we need to throw up something real quick. There's one thing that we don't want people to forget about. Old school woodland camo. Now, a lot of uh, older folks that were in the military years back, uh, like us, this is what we were issued and used. A lot of folks nowadays kind of tend to discount it um, for a, a myriad of reasons, which is more than what we're going to go into here. But in all actuality, woodenly camo is still a viable option for folks. Is it the best? No. I don't think there's any arguing that. Is it the worst? No. I don't think there's any arguing that either. It is just a viable option. And I think it's also a really viable option for preparedness minded folks on a budget. If you don't have the money to spend on some of the newer, more expensive stuff, it's better to have four or five sets of woodlands to have something than it is to try to run around in a pair of blue jeans, uh, come what may for if we actually have to use this stuff. So old school woodlands can be found, uh, obviously surplus stores and stuff for, for pretty cheap. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you can probably find them on eBay, but there's even newer manufacturers like TruSpec, uh, Proper, et cetera, that are making them still that, that, that you can get good deals on. Um, these right here are, are actually the genuine gear brand that Proper does, that's their budget line. It's like 24 bucks for a pair of pants and 24 bucks for a top. So for 50 bucks, you can have a, a complete set, another seven or eight for a boonie, and, and you're good to go. This is the uh, poly cotton ripstop, so it's it's good stuff. You can still find the Nyko ripstop uh, from a couple of different places. Uh, don't discount it, okay? Coyote gear goes really good with woodland camo. I'm, I'm already hear people, oh my gosh, do what? No, it's gotta be green. No, no, and we're gonna try to get into more of that in another video. Coyote works really good in heavily woodland environments. It goes really good with the, the tans that's already in woodland. And if you get woodland gear, which we're doing it in, um, you can mix and match other stuff with it and, and, and come out with a really good breakup effect, in fact. You'll, you'll notice on this test rig, with the Coyote webbing on it, it really blends in good, okay? It, it, it matches, it, it gives a little contrast here and there. Um, so don't discount it. Woodland can still be a viable option. It's not nearly as bad as guys say. That's what you've got. Don't worry about it. Run it. If you can afford to get new stuff as time allows, then yeah, upgrade as you can. But if you've got five or six sets of, of, of good woodland BDUs already, and you're tight on money, and there's other things that you're short on, like food, medical supplies, water, uh, ammo, mags, whatever, put that money towards some of that stuff first. Once you've got all that stuff squared away, then you can go back and look at upgrading to, to a better pattern or whatever. Just don't discount the woodland. That's, that's why I'm repeating it. it. It's still viable. It's not the best option, but don't feel completely lost if, if that's what you've got. Give it some thought, give it some good uh, hard consideration and, and, and go from there with it. I was reading some stuff uh, just the other day online where some folks were discussing some things and <clears throat> excuse me, topic came up of, well, some folks like different patterns other than woodland because there's a, can be a certain stigma attached to the average Joe using woodland for, for all kind of various reasons, especially reasons that date back to the, the 80s and, and early 90s and whatnot. And that, I don't put a whole lot of stock in that because 
I, I still firmly believe it's going to be more about what you do, how you act, how you present yourself, etc., versus you being identified in a, in a more negative way just because of what you're wearing. I think people put way too much emphasis on that. Is it a possibility? Yes. But I think that possibility can be overcome, like I said, by your actions and, and, and what you do and how you present yourself. So give us some thought. Check it out. We've got the gear if you, if you want it. Coyote gear goes good with it. OD gear goes good with it, um, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll put up some more later, and we'll catch you guys next time.